Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my nighttime routine. Right now it is 10.46 at nighttime. This is way past my bedtime and I'm, I'm not joking. It is because I do work usually in the morning so I have to be up at 5.30, 5.45. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys along on my nighttime routine. I'm sorry if I'm blabbering but I'm so tired. I just came back from work not too long ago, so I am going to do, I'm going to brush my teeth, I'm going to do my hair, and I'm going to cleanse my face, which is something that is a very regular thing for me, and I never go a day, no matter how tired I am, without cleaning my face. Sometimes I forget to, like, um, um, do my hair products, which is normal, and to be fair, without lying, I do forget to brush my teeth sometimes at night time, but... I try to make that up. I try to make that a priority as much as possible. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So, right off the bat, I will go in, remove my makeup. I don't have my usual Garnier um, makeup remover wipes, which you've probably seen in previous videos that I talked about. But I do have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Long. Wear makeup remover wipes, which are these ones right here. Um, my mom gets them from Duty Free when she goes in the States. Um, I don't really like them that much. They're good, but they do dry out pretty fast. So if you don't use them, then they do dry out. So that's what I've noticed. Maybe it's just me. That's just, you know. And another trick I use is since they're so big, I only usually use like half of the wipe because I only do my eyebrows and my mascara so I don't really need a lot of a lot of this that's what I'm trying to say because I also cleanse my face which I will get to in just a moment so I will usually remove the brows because you know I, I can't go to work without my brows because did I say bras? I meant without my bra brows. Yeah, you know what? But like, yeah, I can't go to work without doing my eyebrows. There we go. Let's just say eyebrows because I can't say brows apparently. So, see, like this removed pretty well, maybe because they're like a new package. So, you know, I'm gonna give them the ben benefit of the doubt. And try them again before I completely, you know, say I don't want to use them anymore. So, yeah. Can you tell I'm tired? Yeah, anyways. So, once I remove my makeup, I will go in with, I will have to get a calm pad first. I'm all over the place. I'm going to get a calm pad. And I'm going to use my Clinique step two, which is a clarifying lotion. And I do have a bunch of samples of a bunch of things, which I'm trying to get rid of because we have so many samples everywhere. And I want to get rid of my, all my samples before I go out and buy more because I think it's just pointless. Um, it just goes to waste. So I'll put it on a cotton pad like this, kind of damp the compad, and cotton pad, and I'll just rub my face with it. Um, and I really, really love this clarifying lotion. It's honestly like, oh, and I'll show you in a minute why. It removes all the dirt off your face, all the dry skin, all the extra makeup you have on your face, things that your makeup remover obviously doesn't get. And I just, it's an incredible product. We've Honestly, this is one product that I use that's just like my holy grail in my nighttime routine and I never go without it. And I take it down my neck and make sure the neck is clean. And this is gross, but this is what came off my face. And I'm pretty sure if I do a non con pad with the product on it, it'll take off more. Like for being around food all day because I work at Farm Boy, which is a grocery store, and I'm around a lot of food and cooking, so there's a lot of 
grime and dirt and things that, you know, pile on my face and I can feel, as soon as I like put it on and rub my face with it, I can feel my face kind of just feel free again. So that's what I do. And then the next thing I do for my face is I'll use the soy, soy face cleanser by Fresh. Um, this is just a gentle cleanser. It's an everyday cleanser that I put on my face. Um, it's rich in amino acids and it's for all skin types, which I love because I have dry skin and sometimes I don't want to go out searching for specific products that work best for my skin. So I'll just use a product that's like good for all skin. And I surprisingly really love this. It's very like, I don't know, it's very, what's the word? It's not heavy on my skin. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't like... It's just a gentle product. <laughs> am I making any sense? Maybe not. Maybe I am. If you get me, then thank you. So I'm just going to cleanse my face. I'm going to damp my face first. And then I'm going to wash my face with this. everything out of my face that I didn't get with clarifying lotion so I'll rub for maybe like a minute and then I will rinse it off okay so that's about it so I'm gonna go rinse it off and again if you watched my morning routine you'll remember that I never ever rub my face with the towel I will always pat it dry. You don't want to irritate your skin. Especially because once you use products on it, sometimes it can be more op more sensitive, especially because your pores might be a little bit more open. And you want to be very gentle with your skin. That's why we use, you know, gentle cleansers and gentle exfoliants and gentle products because we want to be gentle with our skin. Did I say gentle enough? Probably. Okay, so once I've cleansed my face, I will usually put moisturizer on, but I do kind of let my skin breathe for just a little bit before that. So, while my skin kind of settles, I will go ahead and brush my teeth, and then I will finish up my moisturizer and my hair. so weird I know what am I mm. anyways now let's tame this thing because yeah if many of you if you guys have watched my previous videos you know I've dealt with hair loss because of my weight loss so my hair is a complete mess. So what's going on with my hair is it's growing a lot. So it fell, so it's growing underneath. So my hair is growing, so it's like very fluffy at the top. So I use the Envati Advanced system. So this is the Envati Advanced Scalp Revitalizer and I have a shampoo and a conditioner that goes with it. So I'm gonna apply this on my scalp and massage it in. I'll like separate my hair into parts and apply it right on my scalp. I had about 16 pumps while I look like a crackhead. And then I just massage it in. And then I kind of bring my hair to the side. And I'll go in with the dry remedy oil. Also from Aveda. Or Aveda. Aveda. I don't even know. And 
a lot about five drops of this. And I'll massage it on my ends. Oh, I forgot to apply moisturizer. So once I did my hair, I put it up in a ponytail and I put moisturizer on because I forgot after I brushed my teeth. Um, but honestly, that's about it for my nighttime routine. I know the video was all over the place because I'm so exhausted that I honestly don't even know half the things that came out of my mouth in this video. But um, that's my nighttime routine. It's pretty basic. It takes me about 25 minutes. Depends how tired I am and how fast I go. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I do post. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.